This video will show you how to install the Salesforce Managed Package. The Informatica Cloud Real-Time Salesforce Package or Managed Package is used when you want to create a Salesforce connection in application integration or a Salesforce outbound message OBM that triggers an application integration process. The Salesforce Managed Package for Informatica Cloud Real-Time version 1.24 uses version 40 of the Salesforce API. Use the URLs shown here to install or upgrade to the latest Managed Package. Before you install the Managed Package, make sure your organization uses the Unlimited Enterprise or Professional Edition of Salesforce. Salesforce APIs are enabled and you have administrator rights in the Salesforce organization where you want to install the managed package. Log in to the production Salesforce developer account using your credentials and click login. In the install page, select install for all users to install the managed package for all users and click install. Click View Components to see the detailed components of the managed package. If the installation takes a long time, a message appears stating that you will receive an email when the installation completes. Click Done. After the installation completes, the Installed Packages page appears with the Managed Package under Installed Packages. Click the All Tabs icon from the top of the page. The All Tabs page appears. Click Guide Setup. The Informatica Cloud Real-Time for Salesforce Registration Verification page appears. You must enter the Informatica Cloud Real-Time Host URL and the Informatica Organization ID here. To view your Informatica organization ID, log into Informatica Intelligent Cloud Services. Select the Application Integration Service. Copy the URL and paste it in the Informatica Cloud Real Host URL text box in the Salesforce Registration Verification page. Back on the Informatica Cloud page, Select Administrator from the list of services. Copy the organization ID. Paste it after the URL separated by a comma. The URL must be of the format as shown here. Click Verify. The Guide Setup page displays a notification that your Salesforce org has been configured for Informatica CAI. This concludes the demonstration on installing the Informatica Managed Package.
In this module, you will learn how to describe connectors, review types of connectors, define a connection. Connectors provide the means by which cloud application integration can connect to third-party systems. These third-party systems can be either web services or applications. The connectors are divided into two categories, native connectors and service connectors. Native connectors are also called built-in connector and consist of Informatica cloud connectors and listener-based connectors. Informatica cloud connectors are designed to access data to and from the cloud for each of your applications. For example, connectors for JDBC, NetSuite, Workday, SAP, OData, and Salesforce are Informatica cloud connectors. Listener-based connectors are designed to be used for event-based processing of messages and files. They are classified further as File-based connectors are designed to configure and monitor file-based systems for files or objects on a file system or any other type of storage. You can retrieve files and process the contents of files or perform file operations like move or read file metadata. For example, file FTP and Amazon S3 connectors are file-based connectors. Message-based connectors are designed to configure queue-based message brokers like ActiveMQ and JMS. For example, AMQP and Amazon SQS are message-based connectors. Service connectors are used to connect to web services. They are configured to specify a set of operations or actions that are associated with a specific service endpoint. Connections can be created using native connectors or service connectors. It is a link to a data source like Salesforce, a database or a form-based service connector. To create a connection, select a connection type. Specify connection properties, for example, name, description and other connection parameters. Save and publish the connection. After doing this, you can now see the objects associated with the connection. The connection property window consists of several tabs. These tabs vary depending on the type of connection you select. Properties tab. The first tab is the properties tab and it defines the connection information. Name. It specifies a unique name for the connection. Location specifies the path where the connection will be saved. Description defines a brief description of the connection. This is an optional field. Type specifies the native connector or service connector that you use for this connection. Run on specifies the execution environment for this connection. It can be on-premise agent or cloud server. The connection test displays the result of the connection test. OData enabled identifies if this connection can be accessed as per OData specifications. In other words, data as a service. Once the connection is published, this tab will show the metadata of the third-party system this connection connects to. What you see is specific to the third-party system. In this video, you learned about connectors and connections. Please follow the subsequent videos to learn more about how to create service connectors and connections.